McCoskey. And the clock still gives Collingwood plenty of chances, but it is ticking. Embley under the pump. Medhurst has been clever. He's kicked a couple, and that's a good kick. Well, now, Paul Medhurst has got a couple of, you know, it, they get stuck into him occasionally, but on that occasion, a cool head in a very tight situation, credit's got to be given. No good. hand passes for Paul tonight either, 15 kicks. Great option. If I was a Collingwood supporter, mm. I'd like the ball in this bike's hands. Well, because he's a big time player. And both Thomas and Pendlebury came from the same draft. They've been guns, haven't they? Yep. He's a big time player, this kid. It's a big time kick, Cox. They're in front again. Oh. Just imagine what's running through the young man's body and mind. Dale Thomas gets the opportunity to put the mighty Collingwood footy club in front over the Eagles that have been so good for so long. Medhurst has done enough. He's done his job tonight. And he can walk away tonight feeling proud that he's come back to his old stomping ground and been pretty damn good. So yet another grandstand finish on Friday Night Football. Finals football tonight. Two oh. points the difference. Collingwood on top. Just over three minutes to go. The steely eyes of John Worsfold. Oh. Rucks go at it once more. Richards knocked it down. Stenblind to Prittis. Prittis towards half This forward. is big. They got the numbers. Jones was intent on flicking it across to Cox. It didn't come off. Heath Shaw got a boot to it. Forward of the wing, Braun. Oh. Didact missed him. Gave away a free kick. Back it here, will hi. come back. No advantage. He couldn't put the brakes on Didac. He was coming that hard at Braun, and Braun pulled up. Oh. He was, he was <laughs> like a road runner. Beep, beep. <laughs> he was too. There's Braun then. 80 metres from goal. Sets it up. Stake out. Almost through his fingertips. Down goes Clement. Was their prior opportunity. They battle after the football. 25 metres out from the Eagles attacking goal. Clock is down oh. to 2.43. Whistle. Ball up. Buckley off. Burns on. Big call there by Mick. My nails are gone too, Dennis. Cox, so important. Gets it to Stengline. Obrey, yet another clearance. West Coast with a chance though. Glass. Oh! Tackle on Glass. Oh. If you're a West Coast supporter, do you want Glass to have a shot on goal? To keep your finals hopes alive. Yeah. Well, he's got the temperament and he has the skill. He's kicked one goal this year. He wouldn't have had too many shots. He's a backman. He's a backman, Bruce. But he's quality, isn't he? I yes. saw him have a shot about a year ago and his ball drop wasn't the, wasn't the flashes. So let's see how this goes off the boot. Well, he won't have a bigger shot for goal, you wouldn't think, in his career. Always to the skinny side. It's a one-point game. We can't have a draw. Well, we can have a tight score, but we go to extra time. Geelong sitting back in Victoria, waiting. Clement has been a little bit nervy on these tonight. And Geelong, I'm sure, would like extra time. The kick comes out. Prittis, the third man up, knocked it down in front. Sliding to the ground was Shaw. Slaps at 15 metres. Braun the first back. Oh, a wonderful tackle. tackle. Didak over it. Slaps it across to support and Clark. There's a runner inside. O'Brien slipped. In comes Davis. Dragged down by Prittis. Thumped on there. Spiked on by Medhurst. Worth a kick but ill-directed. Now a chance for Selwood. Down to a minute 50. The kick goes down towards half forward. Embley. He got a goal from this area before. And this one is oh. a point. Scores a level. My word. <clears throat> There's nothing the coaches can do now. They've just got to sit and just hope that their troops make the right decisions. Play on. Yours. Clement oh, wide. No. Oh, it was so close. Wow. That's it. Play on. That would have broken his heart, I reckon. Pendlebury gets it. Would have broken a lot of hearts, Bruce. Play on. Pendlebury down the line. Brian goes back. Good effort by Richards just to hold it up. Davis, still with Davis. Good player to have the footy.
kicks to Rocker. No free kick. Midhurst comes across. Brilliantly done by Midhurst. Can't quite get it away. Hearn dropped it. Ball comes to Prittis. Prittis gets it forward. Jones sits and waits. Well done, Didek. Burns. Scrambles it forward. Selwood brilliant. Pressure on. Midhurst can't quite get a kick away. Rocker. Still with Rocker. Prittis searching for it. Footy still 20 metres oh. out. Somebody do something. <laughs> oh. A lot of tired bodies out there. Quick. The big punch may be over the top. One AFL final has gone to extra time. 94 North Melbourne and Hawthorne. Will history repeat itself? Prittis a bit of a fumble. Knocked away by Didak. We're down to 35 seconds. Slapped out of there by the Eagles. Chance for Selwood. Any score now, you figure Colling would win. Rosling's over the football. Selwood slides in. And the umpire lets them play. Clock stops. 24 seconds to go. What a throw. What a game. Subiaco oval. Pulsating now. Hooked down behind the pack. I think it was Cox's hand. The boot of O'Brien. Pendlebury slaps it in the direction of Clark. O'Brien was dragged down. Eagles relieve some pressure. Staker scrambles a kick back to midfield. One last chance. Five seconds to go. Clement drives it back. It should be a mark behind a lynch, and it is. We're going to overtime. Oh. Well. So Nothing has been decided, Bruce. So two five-minute halves, if you like, have to be played. There'll be a break here for six minutes. The coaches can come out and yep. talk to their players. They'll have a two-minute break in between those where the coaches won't be allowed to out. Whew. Let's catch our breath. What a remarkable quarter of football. What a finish. Starting to rain, too. Just, Just about starting to, be to drama, rain, right? <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh -huh. Well, we heard it at the start of the game, Bruce, that the bookies couldn't split them. It's got to be the greatest sporting competition in the world. Oh. The parody of the AFL. Gee. These finishes constantly, people who may have criticised the draft and the salary cap in the past, yep. must acknowledge what it gives us. Well, Collingwood led by seven at quarter time. West Coast by three at half time. They got it to 23, four at three quarter time, all square at the end of the match. Mickey Moldhouse and John Worsfold with five minutes to conjure something here. We'll be back with extra time right after this.